going on, poor fans? Welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we're going to be talking a trade target that's been linked with Port Adelaide over the last few weeks. His name is Josh Duncan from the Western Bulldogs. He's 25 years old and he's looking to be on the move, apparently, at the end of the season. Now, with the Western Bulldogs playing in the finals that will kick off this week. It's not exactly a massive talking point for the Western Bulldogs and for Josh Duncan, purely a finals focus. But for Port Adelaide, there's a lot of planning and uh, a lot of, well, I guess meetings and everything that should be done in preparation for the trade period coming up very shortly after the finals series because this is a massive trade period now for Port Adelaide considering we've missed finals, considering um, our lack of I wouldn't say depth, I would say more so that, that middle-tier playing group not developing as well as we'd like. And obviously, with the development of Rosie and, Dun and, and Butters, I think we'll be looking at trying to stock up that midfield a little bit more and have a bit of a dynamic midfielder in there and not just have the same big-bodied, contested players that we've seen even picking up of recent. So, let's get straight into it and talk about how Port Adelaide can get Josh Duncan. Steph Martin possession, Shepard well tackled, Dunkley picked it up, he got something from nothing out there, Josh Dunkley, that's a big goal. Now I flagged Josh Dunkley as a main target for this trade period for Port Adelaide simply because I feel like we need something extra in that middle um, in middle play and with the, with, the, with the Western Bulldogs having such a stocky midfielder in Josh Dunkley and also having a very bulk you know, choice of how many midfielders they can have playing in their in their middle with, the, you know, McRae, you've got Bontempelli, you've got Liberatore. There's countless others that go through there. Bally Smith, you know, you name it. They've got every bloody midfielder that goes through that list. And Dunkley hasn't been, um, you know, a priority as such for them in their midfield group, especially with some top talent as they've had. Um, he's shown a little bit in bits and pieces. He's played 112 games for the Western Bulldogs. So he's, he's experienced enough and he's in that perfect age group of, He's ready to take the next step. And I think in Port Adelaide's midfield, he can very much make a stamp of authority with Rosie, with Butters. Um, you know, you can mix in there with Boak and Wines, obviously, with the more experienced talent. And having Dunkley in there will allow you know, Boak to push more half forward with, with you know, every year that he gets on um, in terms of his age. And it, it provides a bit of a difference. Maybe he can play half forward as well, which is, which is very handy in our flexibility and our rotations. And I think... Having that aspect in our midfield, also throwing in a Willem Drew and, and the these younger crops, it stocks up our midfield, but also allows us to develop players maybe in other areas and give us some more flexibility. And we saw that with Robbie Gray, you know, he had that midfield talent, but he was just a classy forward player and he, he, his smartness down forward was just too good. So if we can develop other areas of players' games and really, you know, expand what they can do. That's what Dunk Dunkley's going to bring to this group is not only a personal aspect of having a good midfielder in there as well and someone you can rely on, but also it expands out different avenues for other players to play in different positions and really get that flexibility going. And That's the perks of having depth in your list and that's why Dunkley's going to be a main target for Port Adelaide. I also know that his, um, his partner plays for the Thunderbirds, so... Uh, there's a go-home factor as well for Josh Dunkley, which is uh, quite handy in terms of trying to lure a player. And I think overall he'll be able to bring uh, a massive amount of talent and skill to our midfield, and it's something we need. Now, talk about how you know our midfielders are quite small. You've know, got Ollie Wines that is big and bulky. Boak, um, who's experienced, and, Ro and Rosie and Butters um, and Drew, they're, they're smallish in stock and height, and they, they don't have that big midfielder aspect that the modern day player seems to have. And I'm not saying that's a negative, I'm just saying that we don't have that um, in our repertoire. Whereas Dunkley provides that. He's 191 centimetres, he's 91 kilos, um, he's very stocky, he's got some pace, he's got great skill. Um, and I think what that adds to our midfield is dynamics. And as I said, you know, with the, each player that's a bit more different now and having that midfield that's quite complementary of each other's game, but also have different avenues that they can, you know, maybe attack on more than, say, others. Um, you know, Rosie, obviously, he's got pace, he's got class, he's got skill. In fact, he's got the whole package. Wines, you know, he's that big body midfield. He doesn't have great pace, but he's got quickness in terms of his reaction with his um, putting the boot on the ball and, and creating that, you know, chaos footy out of the midfield, which is something that seems to win games of footy these days. Um, Dunkley can provide both. And I think... You know, overall, that becomes 
very, very unique to our game because we like to play slow, but we can play quick. And when we play quick, we're very damaging, as we saw in the last quarter in the showdown. You know, we just basically put the foot to the floor and just went bang. Um, and and that will give us that dynamic in the midfield, which I think is crucial. You know, he was pick 25 in 2015. So he's a very high pick in terms of um, talent. And you know, he's a second round pick. He's developed into, I think, someone that you could probably get away with giving maybe a second and third round pick for. And if we're going to talk about what Port Adelaide give up to get him, I don't think it's a lot. I just think it's, it, it is probably a second or third round pick um, combined. I don't think it's a third round pick along the line. That's just not good enough. He's definitely not a first round pick. That you're saving that for someone else, um, and I don't think we're going to trade away our first round pick. So, you, you use your second or third round pick, and when I say that, you probably use the the compensation pick we'll get from Carl Amon, who's unfortunately leaving us, and your third round pick, which I think we have in the 40s. So, that's probably enough to bundle up and throw away for Dunkley. That gets the job done. Um, I don't think the Dogs will play too much hardball as well if, if Dunkley's not willing to sign. Um, and I'm, apparently it's a big contract that we've put in front of Josh Dunkley. We've got money to spend as well, Port fans, and I think that's crucial to what happens this trade period. Um, second and third round pick for Josh Dunkley is definitely not something I'd settle on. Um, Five-year deal, throw the money at him, bring him here, and hopefully he um, pans out the way we the way we want him to and the way we need him to, um, and, and, and that way we can attack other aspects of the trade period as well. I do say he's our number one pick. I've obviously thrown out different names. Brody Grundy's still getting a lot of talk about maybe coming home. Um, we know Ken Hinckley flew over to Melbourne, um, so whether or not he's there to talk about um, you know, Brody Grundy or Josh Dunkley or having meetings and stuff like that is definitely um, unique to what Ken's normally done. Normally they're coming here, but he's going there, so he's chasing some players, which is good to see. Um, and and it'll just depend on whether else what comes our way. We definitely do need a defender. We definitely do need a small forward. I've heard talks of Willie Rioli. I've heard talks of Brad Close. I've heard talks of uh, Ben Mackay. It's like we're literally name-tagging everything that could possibly come to Port Adelaide, and we're having a chat with them, which is great. That's an that's an attacking mindset when it comes to the trade table. And um, you know, some players I think are up for trade and on our list as well. And be interesting to see how that all pans out. But overall, to, to summarise this is Josh Dunkley, I think, is our main target. Needs to come to Port Adelaide. If we get him, fantastic. I think he's going to be a welcome asset, and I look forward to seeing what pans out in the trade period in October. Thanks so much for watching this Trade Talk Port fans. Subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide AFLW and AFL content as well. Finals time. We're not a part of it, but good luck to every other team as well. My name is Anthony, and as always, I'm the pair. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.